I feel like creativity is a human necessity because I feel like there are a lot of ways to, um, there are a lot of healing modalities out there, you know, whether that's yoga or breath work or meditation or other spiritual practices. And I think that creativity can, can be that. Creativity can be a healing modality, can be a spiritual practice. Because if you think, if you think about how it works, like I've, it's, it's kind of the same when you, um, if you suppress an emotion or you, um, suppress a, a traumatic memory and you push it down, that's eventually over time going to, to fester and even atrophy into sickness. So you need to, you need to shed light on it and kind of get it out and you need to purge it. And I feel like creativity is one modality to, to, to purge where you can, you know, um, write something down and then explore your shadow in a way, and then you share it. And there's a release that happens when you do that. Um, so I host, uh, I host a monthly uh, creativity ceremony uh, where I live here in Austin, Texas, called Sunflower Club, which is just that. It's, a, it's essentially a creativity gathering based on healing or creativity as a healing modality. So I want to bring creativity to more people and like make creative expression accessible to people. So not just the famous artists and the published authors are allowed to be creative. We all can be creative. Um, so um, there's already been a few other sunflower clubs that have sprouted up around the world because I've, I've created the, um, the guidelines for how to host your own. So, um, so we've had sunflower clubs in places like New Zealand, um, Colorado, Florida, Canada. Um, so I really hope to get sunflower clubs into cities all over the world um, so we can bring the healing power of creative expression to everyone. That's so beautiful. Yeah, I wanted to ask you about sunflower club. Um, just, just to give us an example, what kind of expressions happen at sunflower club in a given night? So I try to keep it open um because i feel like everyone expresses in their own way not everyone identifies as being a yeah. poet so i want to make sure mm -hmm. it's um open because there are there are um i've been to poetry open mics and those are great and a lot of the shares at sunflower club are poetry but i want to keep it open for other modes of expression because everyone is different so it's really open format it's like Go to the stage and whatever you have to share, you 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 have you know whatever five to ten minutes to share, um, and I don't have any rules around it other than whatever you want to share. That this this time is yours, and we're here to witness you. So it tends to be poetry. You know, I realized very quickly that Austin is such an amazing musical city that we get a lot of uh, musicians and singers. So I love that as well. Um, We've had a little bit of comedy. We've had a little bit of dancing. Um, so I love those, you know, uh, other modalities that people share. And my and my absolute favorite, and this happens maybe once every night when I do it, is when someone does not know what they're going to say. They just they just go to the stage and they, and they and they share freely whatever's on their hearts wow and for me that's mm -hmm. the most courageous right because it's about yeah it's really vulnerable to do that and um it's just always beautiful to witness um so yeah just we don't judge you know it's not i i say very specifically this is not a talent show we're not here to showcase our talent although there are talented people it just it, it's 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 more of a sharing ceremony. So we're here to receive each other, regardless of what it is, because I believe that it's not about being good at creativity. It's about creativity being good for you. 